Coming up in center circle, back at it again. We take you back to when Arnett Gardens and Hazard, or Portmore United if you wish, met in the Premier League final. Kemar Daly recalls time in England with Preston, and Paul Teagan Davis weighs in on the struggle of young strikers. There is just one game to go in the Red Stripe Premier League, and that's the final on Monday. Portmore United will be in their second consecutive final, but waiting on the other side are Arnett Gardens, who are in their second final in three seasons. Well, Centre Circle takes you back 14 years ago when the two teams last met in a Premier League final. Back then it was a two-way final and Portmore United were then Hazard United. The first leg was played at the Tony Spalding Complex with Hazard taking the lead through Claude Davis. Claude Davis puts it back across, goal! It's one nothing Hazard! Forty-seven minutes gone. The Hazard supporters go wild. Went to the back post. Davis allowed a free header. He's all by himself. Look at this. But Arnett wiped out the deficit when Kevin Pelle Wilson pulled at them level. Deflection. Here's Wilson. One-one. It meant the two were locked at 1-0 going into the deciding leg at the National Stadium where Simon Crosskill and Never Bertis Bell were on hand with the commentary. What, what will happen this evening? It's tied 1-1. I think the teams are on their way out. As you see, the officers leading them. I'll give you the teams quickly. Arnett Gardens in goal. The outstanding goalkeeper. He's had a brilliant season. Julian McLeish. Jermaine Benjamin, Shane Stevens, Conor Chinsu, Walter Boyd, Alex Thomas, Kevin Wilson, Jonathan Williams, Fabian Davis, O'Neill Dunn, and Gregory Messam. Hazard, Sean Sawyers in goal, Derek Smith, Tyrone Sawyers, his brother, Kevin Deere, Woolrich Wolf, Omar Daly, Ruin Nelson, the record breaker, Ricardo Smith, Andrew Morrison, Anthony Modest from Grenada, and the national defender, Claude Davis. Yep. And the game is underway with a long ball over to Messam. Ooh. We want to try and get a good cross in towards uh, Fabian Davis. Claude Davis was uh, looking towards the assistant for an offside flag. Chin Su in the ball there. That's uh, well done by uh, Benjamin. He's got Messam to his left. Boyd didn't make the run, seemed to come back to it. And uh, acrobatically taken by Sawyers. I thought Boyd should have uh, run forward maybe a little more convincingly. You mentioned Ruin Nelson earlier, 29 goals, and, and, and it is amazing what he did because he hasn't played 40 games for the season. To get 29 goals, he's been very, very consistent. He's missed a couple of games Absolutely. for Hazard. This is Wolf back into the box, 1-0. Omar Daly, he made no mistake. That was rifled into the back of the net. That's a lovely through ball, and that's what we've been talking about. That's the result. The Hazard fans are overjoyed nine minutes gone in the first half and this team that has been so consistent all season has taken the lead 1-0 well you know they didn't go to the back post the first time when Nelson was there this time they did they found Omar Daly he has a lot of confidence also very pacey player the ball is played through by Wolf he's a left-footed player he makes the pass with the right foot Daly doesn't fool around Alex Thomas late in coming across he hit that well Thomas, now Benjamin looking to try and get Boyd away, but Wilson is behind, he might hit that on the bounce, and just didn't get his foot wrapped around it to direct it towards goal, you could see the shot coming, and I suspect so could Sawyers, comes are moving about, here's a free kick for Arnett Gardens, taken by Messam, not a bad curling ball into the box, and that's Williams showing far too many studs to get the boot up by the head of Claude Davis for Williams, <laughs> means that he really did well because Davis is a very tall man and Williams is not. So that match that you played, um, did you keep goal? I did. Okay. What I was did. the score? Well, they didn't score against me, I'll give you a clue. I can't remember if we <laughs> scored, but uh, I did not concede a goal. They had a clean sheet. A very clean sheet. It's a good work to come around, the keeper's caught out. 
Well, Julian McLeish, who's been so good all season, seemed to have been rooted to the spot. I don't think he thought that the ball was going to come across to Woolery Wolf, who makes it 2-0 to Hazard United. And this is really a turn up for the books here at the National Stadium. 25 minutes gone and Hazard United at 2-0 up. Wonderful move by Andrew Morrison to get it across goal. McLeish fooled, went for the ball instead of covering the goal. Realized too late that he couldn't get the ball and then he couldn't cover the goal. Will Roof in a wonderful position. Now there's Andrew Morrison all the way off the pitch, but he played it across goal. Nelson was at the near post. He was marked. Wolf came late, came at the back and knocked it in an empty net. Good stuff. That's the kind of play that gets you dropped. Williams. Wilson. Williams again. Are they appealing for handball? But I don't think it was given. For Arnett. Keepers off. And the ball is off the park as well. Cleach with the kick. Probably be the last one of the half. It is. The three Carlos Batres of Guatemala has seen enough. Put it here. And the Hazard supporters are very happy with the scoreline at half time. Either teams, a lot of chatter around the national stadium. The Anik Gardens fans, I suppose, waiting to explode, but they want something to explode about. And that uh, almost brought about some explosion for the Hazard fans. A looping shot from uh, Daly. McLeish was in all sorts of trouble, and he was saved by the bar. William Davis won't be feeling uh, too good right now. He's hoping that his teammates can carry on. It's Boyd. Back to Bunzi is going to fire. A brilliant effort from Everton Bunzi. That's the way you beat a big goalkeeper. You keep it on the ground right inside the left hand post. And Arnett are back in the match after 61 minutes. The crowd now goes wild. It's 2 1. We have a game on our hands. Everton Bunzi, he came on in the last match, had a shot that went straight to Kevin Wilson. Wilson scored. This time he goes for it again. No one stops him. I think Sawyer's probably didn't see it until a little late. A bit of traffic in front of him. Might just have to alter their game plan, plan slightly. They've had it pretty much all their way with that 2 0 lead. Now here's Nelson. And he's. Uh, that's a measure of uh, Roy Nelson. He got the shot off. Maybe didn't get all the power he wanted. Oh, the view probably up in the 15 range. Arnett Gardens probably, probably has the highest wage bill. And it's earned them two titles. This is Thomas. He's got behind the defenders. Away from Messam. Still on the left foot. Well, he should have gone for it himself. He tried to set up Nelson. There's a shot. Not far from the right hand post. Bunsi in hard and then uh, had to try and balance himself and nearly stamp the player well the, the referee yeah, looks like a card for Daly and if it is then it's going to be a red card because yep. that's the second yellow card is it Wolf it's Woolery Wolf who's gone a second yellow card offense for the challenge it looked innocuous enough from here but uh, maybe on a second look it might show it to be more severe I, I think the referee thought that he went high his boot went high over the ball and if you do that it, it, it is a, a cautionable um, offense has it get ready to bring on Paul Young supposed to give him a taste of the final I'm involved in their action so far in the Premier League here's Chinsu he's going for goal couldn't get the ball on target. Scored a couple of World Cup goals in qualifying action. Very vocal player, isn't he? Had strong views. Probably the reason he never made it to the World Cup. Indeed. And it on the attack again. That's come out. It's 2-2. Cool, cool. Can you believe it? Hazard United have squandered the advantage. Cornell Chinsu had three shots on the trot earlier on in this second half this one he's made tell they're back in the match it's too all and there's not a lot of time to go just eight minutes of regulation time well you said he had three shots you were right but he had five shots on the truck for Arnett Gardens the last five shots 
taken at the hazard goal, taken by Cornel Chinsu. Four were off target. Well, that one certainly wasn't, was it? Hit the back of the net. Sean Sawyers again, maybe with the crowd in front of him. And Hazard can't believe it. And Arnett now look full of life. They look even more invigorated than they did when they started. They must feel as if they've been given a second life. Hazard now on the attack. It's now 3-2 Rowan Wilson. Well, he had to get on the score sheet, didn't he? 3-2 to Hazard United, his 30th goal of the season. Five minutes remaining in regulation time. Do we have another twist or a turn in this match? Maybe not. Hazard United very close to taking the Ray Nephew National Premier League title. It's Andrew Morrison who fights for that ball. Double team, but it rolls free to Rowan Nelson. He's not going to miss from there too often. He hits it well with the left foot, but Morrison works for the ball. He made the second goal, Andrew Morrison. Well, he should get a piece of that one. Really worked for it. Two defenders around him. It leaked out to Rowan Nelson, and he did the rest. And there goes the final whistle. Hunter United have done it. They've been the most consistent team. They played well all season. And now they claim the coveted trophy and the top prize. Three two winners over the defending champions Arnett Gardens. The defeat ended Arnett's hopes of a three P title success after winning the two previous seasons. Still to come, Kemar Daly wants another national shot. Paul Tiga Davis says players lack the drive to do personal training and help for Desmond Carilla Davies.